evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for tonight's main event. Four rounds in the light heavyweight division. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Right. And there's the opening bell. Round number one, scheduled for four. This one is expected to be a thriller. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? Joe, there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to you. <laughs> and he's holding. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. That straight right unable to connect. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Now there's the jab. So he decides to go downstairs early on and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's gonna move a little bit, start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. <laughs> Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. And he just holds on there. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Keep working, bud. The ghost is really impressing us here tonight. That last round, boy, he was on top of his game and all over his opponent laid out some serious damage there. Yeah, I noticed that he's starting to land that uppercut a little bit. The only thing that I wouldn't be satisfied with what he did the last round, I would just look forward for confidence to do more as sort of a good roadmap to maybe even get a knockout victory here. Beautiful. Put something on top of those uppercuts. You know the uppercut's landing. Now put something up top. This is your... Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Well off the mark by the Ghost.
Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Halfway through this round. <laughs> Unable to land clean by Grant. Get after him! <laughs> Blocks that punch. <laughs> Gets rid of that body shot. <laughs> Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. The Ghost clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires, and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. Grant's able to avoid that punch. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. I want the combinations. You land in one shot, but I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking close for you to be lazy with our punches. You understand? You don't need that. No, throw that away. Let me out. Let's finish this. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing great. Let's keep working out there. Don't save anything. Just let it go. Listen, I'm not going to stand. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Good defense just covering up down low. Nice hook by Grant. Finish with a hook. <laughs> he had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Locks that belt line well. <gasps> wow, is he defensively sound? <gasps> Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Do that again! 
again. He missed with that headshot. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. to be elusive. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. This looks like it could be just a matter of time now. Maybe a punch or two away from going down. Teddy, what's he got to do? Well, he's got to grab. He's got to find a way to stop the offense. And to clutch and grab, usually that's one way. Ten seconds to go in this round. Get some water. We got it. You're good. You're okay. Breathe for me. Uh, oh, now listen. There, you threw it. a white punch and it got you. You don't need that. No. Throw that I don't let your hands go, okay? You have to let them go or you're going to lose this fight. All right, listen. Yeah, we'll get them. We'll get them. Four. The last go-round for these two is underway. Now hugging on the inside. The ghost missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Really frustrating his opponent now. As he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Well, he ties up there. One, two! One, two! One of those! One of those! Unable to make an impact there by Grant. Just a minute and a half left in the fight. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Grant. <laughs> a minute to go in the fight. Nothing there on the punch by the ghost. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is let your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Throughout the night, right up until that final bell moments ago, both these men tried to determine their fate. But now it's in the hands of these judges. The pressure now is truly on the judges because this is the kind of fight 
where you need talent as a judge, you need discipline as a judge, and of course, honesty to get the right decision here. A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd, not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave it any other way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.